whenever you think about business, the next thing that you think about is funding. And usually, yes, funding is very important. And I have six different ways you can get free money to start your business or to scale it. By that, I mean expand it anywhere you are across the globe. Of course, I'm going to let you know whether there are specific places or locations or the races that some of these ones favor. But I'm going to give you six ways you can fund your business with free money with other people's money and it's so cool because i don't know why not a lot of people are talking about it but i'm going to spill the tea right here welcome back cheap money gang like we do it we don't get keep anything Been sitting back all these weeks and i've been thinking i've been learning i've been researching and of course this is something i said i can't keep it to myself anymore i need to bring it to the gang as always and of course let's dive straight into it This concept of drop shipping, I mean, I have heard it for like 10, you know, more than 10 years now, and I never paid very keen interest until recently. And I'm like, okay, we need to talk about it here. Because what is drop shipping? You don't need to have any inventory that is no goods, no services in that sense. You don't even need to have a place where you keep the goods. You don't even need to have like a marketing team. You don't need a delivery team and all of that. But you can be selling anything internationally and having clients across the globe. How does it work? So you know how you have online online stores like Alibaba or AliExpress where usually you can, you can buy straight for the manufacturers at a lower price, right? Then you go also set up your online store just of course has to be registered and legit and then you choose the kind of product you want to sell from those kind of bigger shops let's say you want to deal on a kitchen or a hypermarket kind of thing where people can select anything that they really want but you have to go select them from the shops how take the pictures from those shops right and then place on your own online shop on your own e-commerce site that's what i mean and then put your own prices so let's say the price on alibaba for instance for a particular customized clock, for instance, is $13. For instance, if you are able, and then, you know, you look at the conditions like, can you order for one? Can you offer in pieces like retail or you need to buy a particular number for them to send to you and all of that. So you need to be able to, you know, look at each product according to the terms and conditions of that platform. Then you bring them to your website, for instance, and maybe put it at maybe $30 right so what will happen is that as you grow your business marketing that's your platform when people say oh you know somebody um, decided they want to buy that particular clock for instance at 30 dollars you already have created a relationship with the manufacturers on aliexpress or on alibaba to say okay so i have a client who need this so you pay them their 13 dollars supply the the, the person's uh, address and all that and they go deliver the product for you right so all you need to have is your own e-commerce website that's why it's called drop shipping like you don't need to you know, own the delivery the staff the you know all of that in you don't need it but this is so amazing and i thought why is a lot of people not doing it right so this is one way you can get to start a business without hassles with a lot without a lot of funding okay number two is of course venture capitalists I've always heard and, you know, people always wish that, okay, that they can get people that can fund their business and hold their hand through it. And that's what VCs do, right? So VCs help you fund your business, take a share of your business and help your business to succeed, you get? So it is something that a lot of people, a lot of opportunities are not there, but this is, this blew my mind when I found out. Do you know that the tennis star Serena Williams actually launched her VC in 2014 and she focuses on women? Yeah, she focuses on women from you know underprivileged backgrounds and also people from families that have issues. She focuses on people from underprivileged backgrounds and all of that, and it has been doing so well. So far, she has funded 14 organizations. Remember that VCs have a stake in your company, and so it has added to the things she's she has invested in to make it happen. And you can be one of them. And people don't talk about this a lot, right? So it is people like you that such VCs are looking for. Yeah, another venture capitalist platform I, I learned about was Fearless Freedom. And I was like, okay, 
<laughs> why am I not in the loop all the while, right? So you can actually go apply, read the, the terms and conditions and see how you can apply to get funding. See, these things you cannot know whether you will get if you don't try, right? And these platforms are not, you know, I've already told you um, that Serena's own focus, right? Women and youth as well, people from underprivileged background and of course black people are people of color, right? Their fearless freedom also have their terms and conditions. So you have to just go and, you know, read up and get to know how to apply, right? So I've told you now about dropshipping and I've told you about venture capitalists. The next one, did I even tell you that you should stay to the sixth one because that's the one that blew my mind. Like I have been doing that for years now. I don't know why you're not doing it yet. <laughs> okay. Number three is small business loans, not the kind of the loans you get from your typical banks where they will ask you for your grandmother's old car, <laughs> your investor and all. Not that. Okay. So this is purely online. These are platforms that help you, that actually loan you money right they loan you money to start your business or to scale it and when i learned about this particular ones i was like mm, wow loans from online companies not your regular banks right number one is kiva.com kiva.com go there check out what the their conditions are and apply you could get money and this is money that you can pay back because a lot of people pull in these funds and make it available to people who apply, who fit into their, of course, their criteria, right? The next one is Funding Circle. Please go and check them out. You can get small business loans as much as you want and grow your grow that business. And in fact, take it global. The fourth one is crowdfunding. Of course, if you've been online, you know about crowdfunding. You know, like GoFundMe, right? Where people can ask for money for medical help, um, for Medicare, for um, school fees and all of that. Just the way GoFundMe works. This is also how this works for business people like you. Kickstarter.com. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw Kickstarter.com. I think I was researching something on ChatGPT and then I saw Kickstarter.com. Okay, no, I remember. I was editing somebody's book sometime in November last year and he was advising people on how to get your income as well. And he mentioned Kickstarter.com. I'm not like, okay. So I went to ChatGPT to check it out. I'm like, okay. Then I went to Google, of course, and I'm like, mm, okay. So when I learned that Kickstarter is like the number one platform for business people, when it comes to funding, I was like, oh my God, where have you been? <laughs> okay, so kickstarter.com is one place you should actually go and check out when it comes to crowdfunding. So the fifth one is grant money. Grant money, just the way you heard it. Free money is not a loan. You can actually win this money and use it for your business without paying back a dime. And this one is so biased, kind of, especially for people who are from, you know, black nations, Africans in particular, and particularly women. A lot of organizations are giving women money. If you know, you know, right? And I think it's the same thing across the world. I can't tell, but I know that the Total Limited Foundation, of course, they give more funding from like $5,000 upwards. I know for MasterCard Foundation, they give like $100,000 and above. And I actually know somebody who just won that money. I know people who have won grants from these organizations. And also Global Good Fund. Global Good Fund is actually open to everybody, right? They don't really segregate. And these people give money. But you, of course, you have things you qualify for and even just three weeks ago i had a chat an instagram live session with one of the experts who help people to attract funding put their documents right and all that and he gave us some tips about how to attract some of these organizations and it was so eye-opening one of them is that you must have a good website that actually talks about what you do right another one of course you should have a business plan for that's number one you should have a business plan also, you should have a pitch and a one-minute video talking about your business and your product. And so many other things is filled in that video. I can actually leave the link right here for you to go watch. I mean, I learned so much and I've been learning so much like I told you. Grant money, I mean, I, I think that's one of the sweetest money ever. But anyway, wait until you hear the next one. The sixth one is the one that I really, really love. It gives you this kind of adrenaline because you must be somebody of integrity to be able to apply this next one. So, hold up. If you're not somebody who is thinking about doing things the right way, making sure that people's trust in you, you don't truncate it, um, then this is not for you, right? But if you're somebody who is very big on integrity, then you should actually try pre-sale. 
Yes, you heard me. Pre-sale. I've used this to market my blogging online course in 2009. I used this to sell my editor's business school in 2022. And I've always used it to sell whatever ebooks I have published on my seller platform and so many other things. What does pre-sale mean? Pre-sale means that you create a product. In that sense now, it could be an information. It could be a, a transformation. It could be a coaching program. It could be you know, whatever, right? Or even a product. But the thing is that when you create, have to create the idea first and use a pre-sale to do a few things. Use a pre-sale to, to check whether what you created is actually what your target audience are looking for, right? And also use it to make money to produce the actual product. Now, so when I created my online course, let me explain. All I did was to look at from where to where do I want to take my audience, right? What solution do I want to bring? What do I want to show them? And where do I want to end? So I draw up an outline. Imagine if it's a book or an online course, right? You come up with an outline of what you want to teach and of course flesh them out in models and um, lessons. And of course, package it in that sense, do a mock-up, you know, all of those. So make it look like an actual product and then put it out and put a launch date. It put a launch date and a date that people can assess the program. A launch date means that the day people can start paying and of course another date where people can get access to the program or the book or download the ebook, whatever it is. And then you begin to market it. So let me say you decide to market it for 30, 30 days awareness, telling people that this is coming, this is how much it is, this is when it's going to launch. Launch means this is when they can key in if they're interested. And then you begin to see people, oh, you know, and all that. You must also have a, a, a mechanism where you channel them into waiting for the product. So you must have a wait list. Like you can use an email service, right, to keep them waiting. And that helps you to sift all the people who are really, really interested in the product from all the other ones who are thinking that it's a good idea. And then when it's time to launch, let's say you open the launch for two, three days, people pay their money because they are looking at, and you must have already communicated to them that this product is going to be available on a later date. You must have the date ready. That means you must have a time frame that you can actually sit down and actually record. If it's an online course, record this program, upload it on the platform and all of that so that it's ready before the time. Then you go ahead and deliver a set. See, this is one of the things I've done in my life, in my own life, is that I'm like, it makes it makes you feel so good. First of all, it does a few things for you. I'm assuming you put it out and start marketing and nobody pays for it after 30 days. You know that somehow your messaging might be wrong, the product idea might be wrong or something. So you can always adjust and come back. You know what I mean? So you don't need to spend money that you don't have to do a product that you're not sure that people actually want. Now, pre-sale is so fantastic. And I don't know which of these that you're thinking about using or all, but I, but I bet you, your business cannot remain the same if you apply these tools I have already given you because I see them as tools. And I need you to be sure that I'm always here looking out for you. And I'm going to come back again and give you more tips in my next video. Are you even ready? Team Money Gang. Cheers. Bye.